What's shaking YouTube cores? I'm Serious Shield Product here, and today we're doing things way different than we usually do. Uh, I know this is usually a card opening channel, but today we're trying my very first recorded Nuzlocke. I've tried it with like Pokemon games in the past, but this one's going to be a bit different. Since this is a Yu-Gi-Oh channel, this is a ROM hack with Yu-Gi-Oh instead of Pokemon. All of the monsters in this game have been replaced with Yu-Gi-Oh sprites. All all like I don't I don't really understand how the like evolution happens. I know like with like red eyes and stuff it goes from like red eyes black chick to red eyes to all that crazy stuff. So we're going to learn a lot together along the way, but I I saw this. I found that like I I saw a random nuzlocker mention this and I was just like, "Oh man, I have to check it out." I did some googling. I found it and it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. I played like 20 minutes of it just to try and get like the feel for it when I first downloaded it. It's really cool. This is going to be a fresh start. I'm going to show you all the crazy things you can do with it. So let's jump into it. I'm going to try and make this like a series. I, I might not be putting each like episode up sequentially. There's hopefully going to be openings in between. I just ordered some stuff. So some stuff should be coming into open soon. But until then, we're going to be playing some Fire Red uh, Yu-Gi-Oh version. They didn't give this like an official name but it's it's fire red but Yu-Gi-Oh instead but there's a lot of crazy stuff to do just in this game so we're just going to go ahead and get into it warning correct system id cannot be read da, 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 da. real time clock we, we don't care about the real time clock so in the world which you are about to enter you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero speak to the people and check things wherever you go be it towns roads or caves gather information hence you may blah, hints from every source I'm going to trip up on the uh, text parts a lot, so just get used to that. But you guys sure already know I'm going to do that because you see me trying to read the text on these, you know, books of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But new paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you'll be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. I just, I love the little Karibo sprite up in the corner. <laughs> right, through your adventure, we hope that you'll interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press A button and let your adventure begin. So there's there's a randomizer. You could play this just as they intended, which I do not intend to play this as they intended. There's a randomizer. We're just randomizing the Pokemon. We're not randomizing the the ability. I'll I'll we'll get to it when we get to it. But welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world and right there, there's a Cyber Dragon instead of whatever Pokemon usually jumps out. Like, this this, this is going to be a ridiculous game. Like I said, I played a little bit of this uh, at the very beginning of, like, when I first downloaded it. And it, it was just ridiculous right off the bat. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. Da -da -da -da. Everybody, anybody that's played a Pokemon game knows how all this stuff goes. What is it? I, I might... Just a warning, I might use speed up in this. Uh, just because... Ooh, no, gory, what? No. The <laughs> the joystick, I'm using, I'm using an Xbox controller right now. And the joystick is a little overly sensitive at the moment. So I might have to see if I can mess with those uh, settings. This is my grandson. I'm going to name this after my best friend... Hammerai. You 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 know him from uh past pack battles and stuff. He goes by Set One Pass Gaming now, but he he's always gonna be Hammerai. Uh, <laughs> that's his Xbox tag, so that's what I'm gonna call him. Or what was it, Hammerai? Yes. Okay. So we'll just get through this. Everybody knows all of this stuff. Legends about to unfold. Da 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 da. -da. If you've played a Pokemon game, you know what all this stuff is. So you drop down. I remember playing Fire Red when it first came out years and years ago. This is like this game's like 19 years old now, which hurts my soul. But boom, we have. Uh, let's see, the joystick's gonna be a little wonky. Time to choose your difficulty. All right, here's all the options I was talking about. Difficulty plus level cap settings can be altered through your journey. Standard difficulty. Play the game like a normal fire red game. Hard difficulty introduces dynamic leveling for certain fights and disables the bag in battle. I don't want to do that. Brutal difficulty is the same as hard, except important battles. AI will have EV trained teams 
and each monster will, be, will have competitive items. I do not want that at all. I'm trying to have fun with this. So, going with standard difficulty. <laughs> Would you like to play with a level cap? Yes, I'm going with a level cap since this is a Nuzlocke. We're not doing hardcore Nuzlocke where like we can't heal in battle, but if something faints in battle, it is dead. Level cap enabled. Are you interested in randomizer settings? Yes, we are. <laughs> Would you like to randomize the monsters? Yes, monsters have been randomized. Do you want important battles like gym leaders to also have their team randomized? No, because apparently the gym leaders and like important battles and stuff, they're all uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh! series based things. Like there's like Yusei, Pharaoh, Joey, all that sorts of stuff in here. So no, I want them to have their ridiculous monsters. Important battles are not randomized. Would you like to randomize abilities? No. I just, I literally just want the monsters to be randomized. <laughs> Would you like to randomize learn sets? Also no. Would you like to explore the multiple grinding options? Yes, okay, so I, I was looking through this uh, when I first tr uh, like downloaded the game, and there's like no EVs, all that stuff, uh, semi-grinding, monst all monsters have max IVs, which is ridiculous, and mineral grinding mode all have max IVs and EVs are removed from the game. I just wanted to show this because, like, if you if you guys decide to hunt this down and try and play it yourselves, those are options. I'm not doing that. We're just doing we're just doing the default standard. You get what you get. If it's a garbage mon, it's a garbage mon. <laughs> and uh, I am gonna play with infinite rare candies just so y'all don't have to sit and watch me grind. <laughs> but game mode, you would like to play default, not sandbox. I'm not trying to go have ridiculous like tweaking adventures with this i just want to have a standard fun time and you auto run in this which i love but oh no all right that is a problem i thought i changed there we go auto run has been disabled jesus <laughs> all right going to be awkward i know but Hopefully by the time I'm halfway through this game, I'm a little less awkward with y'all. So we are in Pallet Town. We're going to go before we go into the professor's uh, house. We're gonna go bother Hammerize little sister. Oh, okay. It's been, it's been a while since I've played these games, so I'm gonna get tripped up a lot. I'm definitely going to pull up a walkthrough at some point. Just a warning. <laughs> All right, I'm going with the D-pad. This joystick is making me mad. All right, this person's new. Attention duelist, I can adjust your game settings. No. Attention duelist, goodbye. <laughs> so that's good to know. All right, we got we got Hammer Eye here. What is this? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. He's he's like out in the forest or something like that. Yeah, see, like I said, it's been a while since I've played these games. I'm turning Auto Run back on. No, no, stupid joystick. <laughs> We're going to have technical difficulties, guys. Yeah, I'm not using the joystick. Got to use the D-pad. If you hear me clicking on the mic with the D-pad, I apologize. You're just going to have to get used to that. Uh <laughs> All right, it's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in the tall grass. No crap they live in the tall grass. Where else are we going to hunt Pokemon? We're gonna go get our Pokemon, guys. See the the fact that they random like they randomized everything, and it. I don't know if you've ever watched a uh, Nuzlocke before. Usually, when they're randomized, it will like change the sprite. With this, it doesn't change the sprite, but it changes what it actually is. If that makes sense, like it doesn't change the sprite when you go and like tap like you know Char uh, Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. If we were going with standard Pokemon, it would show either Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur, but it'd be something randomized once we go and look at, like, at our party. And that's what it's going to do with this. Because the first time I clicked on it, I, I thought it was a Red-Eyes monster, but it turned out to be like Rabbit Horseman. And I was just like, no, this is dumb. But <laughs> there are three Pokemon here. Ha ha! The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer, but now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one, go on and choose. And he's going to get Sandy because 
He wants to choose first. <laughs> but we are the protagonist of this game. All right. Illusion Magician is your choice. Okay, so it, it randomizes the sprite, but not the name of the uh, Pokemon. That's what it is. So it looks like Cyber Tutu. Very easy to raise. No, I do not want to go with this. I want to know what all of my choices are. We've got... I have no idea what that is. So Paladin of White Dragon, definitely a blue eyes thing. So it, like your choices are to start off with like Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, and Red Eyes in the standard for version. We're not going with the standard version. <laughs> oh no. 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 Ah. Uh. Well, Dang it, I guess we're choosing that. <laughs> uh, let's see, well, let me ch check and see. That's Professor Oak's last book. God! All right, I bet that was something cool. So what we have is Vampire Bat. That's cool. That's a cool sprite. Uh, levitate, not hit by ground attacks. That's cool. Supersonic, Astonish. And normal. So, what what type is this? It is a ghost type. It's holding an orange berry at least. All right. So, we have a vampire bat as our first. Uh, I'm gonna keep calling them Pokemon, even though they're not Pokemon. I'm gonna call them Pokemon. So, there we go. We're gonna see how this matches up with our rival I'm nervous and I'm kind of bummed out I really like watch the the last one's gonna be like an obelisk or something like that because the Egyptian gods are in here I think there's something like almost 300 different monsters in here so it's gonna be interesting to see what all they chose I love that they changed the pokeballs to Yu-Gi-Oh cards <laughs> uh, they changed like some of the music in here too and oh that's actually an illusion magician what what okay so i guess i guess they get non-randomized pokemon but you get the randomized ones all right all right we don't need you explaining how to do a pokemon battle <laughs> uh oh it's not effect okay this so this is going to be a very grindy battle not very effective. Use tackle. It does okay. Yeah, so this is gonna be awful. Uh, we're gonna supersonic it just so it can hurt itself. Of course, it avoided it. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be randomly using uh, speed up just because this is going to be a very like i said an incredibly grindy battle if we don't do this we're gonna get like a thou okay 52 experience points boom already level six i don't know if you can hear the music uh <laughs> but it's playing the gx theme song that's what it plays whenever you get uh, a w in the in a battle it's just so satisfying Yeah, I could I could sit here and listen to this all day. Uh, <laughs> if you win, you're in prize money. Yes, we know. Okay. Gore's Gramps, smell you later. He's such a douche. <laughs> all right, raise your Pokemon, make a strong battle. Okay. Boom. Pallet Town again. We're gonna go talk to Mom. Uh, joystick. All right, this joystick is going to give me an anxiety attack. Uh, like I said, you're going to have to bear with me, guys, because this is going to be awkward, for, at least for the first uh, couple of videos. <laughs> but I feel like this is going to be a whole lot of fun. I actually just uh, picked up our old, like, my wife bought a Game Boy Advance SP a while ago, and uh, we have Pokemon Sapphire for it, and I've been playing Pokemon Sapphire. I kind of wish that was the region this was in, but having it be... Uh, like the original, like OG Kanto, is kind of cool. All right, I forgot to do this earlier. Get a potion. 
I like it took me until I think like Gen five to realize that there was always a potion just sitting in your box, and I'm a little ashamed to admit it. <laughs> oh my god, auto run is going to suck. Like it's nice when uh when you don't have the ability to run, but having it inherently be there kind of uh changes the entire game. All right, what are we going to see on our first route? Nuzlocke hasn't st What is that? Oh, it's a beaver warrior. All right. It looked it looked like a one of the like the roids, like a vehicroid. See, they didn't completely change all the music. It's just some of the just like spice music. We have a Venom Boa. All right, that looks horrifying. Some of the sprites definitely look a little wonky. But, I mean, they did what they could. It's not like there's a whole lot of reference points for... Uh, what? Okay. Hopefully this is our encounter when we come back here with Pokeballs, because I love Blue Eyes Ultimate. That's ridiculous. <laughs> And of course it has Intimidate. It'll be interesting to see what the different abilities for each Mon are too, just because uh like there's there's no there's no telling what they do. Oh my god, alright, so we gotta go through here. Run up here. This is where this is where you get the rare candies. 99 rare candies. And every time I need more, I just gotta come back here. But yeah, I figured I figured Y'all wouldn't mind me playing with rare candies. That way, like I said, you don't have to see me do a grinding montage to get everything taken care of. But go to the mart. Hey, you. You came from Pallet Town. No Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can you take it to him? I always forget for some reason, even though I've played this storyline in what? Let's see. Red. No, I, don't, I, didn't, I never played red. I played blue. I played yellow. And I played Fire Red, so I've played through this storyline at least three times. Actually, at least nine times, because I always do, like, each starter. Except for in Yellow, where, you know, you get only Pikachu. <laughs> Alright, running, 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 running through the grass, which is stupid. We gotta get back as fast as possible. Because I want to start this. I want to catch a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And we're going to end up with this or Beaver Warrior. I can guarantee it. But uh, I guess I should explain the rules. Nuzlocke rules, basically, you only get one encounter per route. Uh, and it's whatever you first encounter. You can't pick and choose. Whatever you first get is what you get. Uh, if you don't catch it, that's it. You don't get, an you don't get uh, to catch a Pokemon on that route. Uh, if a Pokemon dies in battle... It's dead. There's no revives. There will be a death box in the PC. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, this isn't hardcore, so I can definitely use like potions and stuff in battle. It just can't use revives. So if we find any revives out in the wild, that's just free money in a mart. Uh, what's that? You have something for me? Da, 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 da. Starting the journey. Everybody knows this. You get your... Good God. I... I never realized how wordy this, uh, the beginning of this game is. You know what? Need to go tech speed fast. Uh, okay, you know, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it on shift just because, um, I want to have the ability to swap out. If it was hardcore, it would be on set, but this isn't hardcore, so it's not on set. Let's, we gotta go talk to mom, tell her we're, you know, 10 years old and leaving town for, like, multiple years. Oh my god, auto run. Okay, I guess you don't have to tell her. No, no, god. That's, that's one of the things I will never get over is tapping A too quickly. <laughs> All right, we're getting out of here. Did he give us Pokeballs? We got rare candies. We got five Pokeballs. All right, let's start building our team. Our first encounter 
is... Please be blue eyes, please be... Ah, it's the freaking snake. Alright, Venom Boa. Go. I'm just gonna try and throw a ball immediately. I don't want to accidentally kill this thing. I don't know. That's that's gonna be the hard part. I don't know what typing is. Like... Oh. I'm already poisoned. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to... Don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh. Vampire bats hurt by poison, of course. And I'm already burning through Pokeballs. Normally, I would uh, go with uh, nicknaming with every new Pokemon. This thing is going to not let me catch it. And it's going to kill... If I have to restart this soon in... And I'm trying to figure out if I want to do restarts or not. Alright, cool. Venom Boa. Betting it's poison type. Venom Boa is dead with added to the Poke. Ah! Oh! No, I'm not gonna. Let's see. Let's just see what we got going on here. Venom Boa, level 2. It is a poison type. Uh, poison Sting and Leer. That's all it knows. Alright. Let's see. Gotta go back here, try and heal up, because I don't want my freaking vampire bat to die. So we're gonna get to see what we could have gotten. Uh, let's see, hold on. Is the experience share... I think the experience share is just an inherent thing. So hopefully, hopefully experience shares on like all, every Pokemon, every or every Yugimon. No, I'm not calling him Yugimon. That's cheeky. Uh, <laughs> but every monster should have experience share. All right, Venom Boa again. We're just gonna go ahead and kill it. Don't poison, don't poison. Alright, did not get the poison. Thank God. This might be a very brutally, uh... Dragged out game. Yay! Okay, thank God. Thank God, built-in experience share definitely is going to make this a lot easier grinding-wise. Let's see, what else could we have gotten? What is that? Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Alright. Alright. That would have been a cool one to get. Uh, I'm just gonna run. And... Another Wild Heart. It's probably, oh no, it's level 3. It's a different Wild Heart. <laughs> Alright. Eventually we're gonna get through this. I can't wait to see what the gyms are like. That's gonna be freaking hilarious. Alright. Viridian City. There's nothing. No. Alright. What do you got? Fishing Guru. I simply love fishing. Tell me what you... Do you like to fish? Yes. Cool. Got an old rod. Nah! I can't... <laughs> There, there's definitely a bit of a delay with the emulator. It's not a perfect emulator. This this one like definitely doesn't run as smooth as some emulators I've played in the past. I'm going to buy as many. I got $4,000. Let's see. I could get 20 Pokeballs. I'm just going with... I'm just going to go with 10. Yes. Hey, you got a Premier Ball. I didn't know... If, well, I guess Premier Balls were around in this time. Uh, we're going to go with five potions. And I'm half broke. Well, that is an unimportant notification. <laughs> Gotta make sure I stay alert in case the wife needs me. Alright. We are going to go ahead register that and see what we can catch. 
So this is our Viridian City encounter. Elements are here a wild heart. All right. Oh, I probably should have healed up. Um. No, I should. I guess I can go ahead and try and. Oh, it was a crit. I think we can manage to get another one in without killing it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. Now we're gonna try and catch it. Go. Pokeball. Come on. Come on. Nice. Alright, already got a team of three. That's pretty good. Vampire Bat's already level seven. Holy crap. Okay. Wild Heart's dad was added to the Pokedex. This hero will fight only in self defense. Alright, what a sweetheart. No, we're not giving him a nickname. And. Wait, can I get something up here? I can, aha. Hey, another potion. Never going to be upset about getting a po tie on. Um, I might, I, I say, I say I don't want to subject you guys to grinding, but if you guys end up liking this game, uh, I might end up doing a stream of this just to grind and, uh, the in-between gym stuff. Or I might not. Alright, this is... What is the... Oh, Penten, the Dark Clown. Alright. Alright, this is our encounter for this route. I th he's level 3. I should be able to just throw a Pokeball at him. And I will double... I, I need to double check to make sure this actually is new. Metronome, oh no. Purify. Alright, throw in another Pokeball. I don't want to end up accidentally killing something and... Just negating it and oh no okay yeah. Silent burn. What the heck is that? All right, we're going for an astonish. It's not super. Okay, so we can trick room. Oh no, I forget what trick room does, but I know it's not good. Still chilling, Morty. Speeding up just a little bit. I know that's got to sound awful. Oh man, I almost died. Okay, uh, Pokeball. <laughs> oh my god, why won't this thing get in a freaking ball? I'm gonna spend all of my Pokeballs on this stupid clown. There we go. Vampire Bat's already level 8. We don't have to worry about a level cap because it will cap off for us. I'm wondering what the level cap actually is. Venomboa is level 3 now. No, do not want to add the pen to or give it a nickname. So, let's see. This is Dark. Alright, cool. Trick Room, Faint Attack, Leer, and Metronome. That's a very strange uh, mixture. Wild Heart knows Leer and Tackle. And I'm guessing it's a... Oh, it's a Fighting. Okay. And then, of course, Venom Boa. So we got Ghost, Poison, Fighting, and Dark. And... Wait, where did... Route 22. All right. Viridian City, Route 1. Cool. No legal monsters yet. So we can go back up. God, okay. I gotta, I gotta remember not to use the joystick. It's so weird to not use a joystick on an Xbox controller, and my brain can't get past that. All right. Yes, heal the Pokemon. I already got a team of four, and we're just in Viridian City. All right. What are you? The Move Tutor. What? Don't have any badges, so I can't teach you anything. Oh, well, screw you. What good are you? Uh, let's talk to all these people. Pokemon Center. 
<laughs> they charge no money, unlike Konami, who charge you an arm and a leg just to build a rogue deck. That throw in some shade. Oh my god. All right. Uh, remember, it's not the result. This is important. It's the number of cards you collect on the way. Crammed full of Pokemon books. Not full of Yu-Gi-Oh books. That's some bull. All right. What do you got to say, old man? I was an infantry duelist in the military. What does that mean? Like, I understand, like, infantry, like, Pokemon trainers. Like, you can't you can't just, like, throw cards at people. Two favorite bugs are Petite Moth and Parasite Caterpillar. So, I, lo I love all the references they've managed to throw in here. Let's see, what do you got to say? I'm going to talk to everybody. Oh, well, make sure you speak to everybody on the journey. <laughs> so, all right. Uh... Stupid auto run. No, okay, yeah, this is the school. I forget. Do you have anything that what card lets you form a fusion summon? Polymerization. I wonder if they have fusions in here. I don't know. I don't know how that would even work. If you can like I know I know there's like infinite fusion Pokemon, but I don't know if you can fuse Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Alright, back in my day. We used to work out at gyms, not play a card game. <laughs> All right, uh, Viridian City Pokemon Gym. Okay, so it's not even gonna tell me like who who runs the gym. That's fine. I don't need to know this stuff. Route two. What? <laughs> what is happening? Oh no! I just lost a Shadow Duel. I'm about to get sucked into the Shadow Realm. What? Before I go, give me your Pokedex so I may upgrade it. What? You now I have access to the Dex now, fulfill my dream, and complete the Pokedex. I can't fight the shadows any low. What? What is happening? What? Okay. Okay. This this is officially ridiculous. Um. Right. What? Okay. You're just going to run from me? That's cool. So, is this... This isn't a new route yet. Is it? Route 2. Okay, so... Okay, so this doesn't have the routes uh, pop up automatically, but we are going to get an encounter right here. Talk to whoever these people are. That, okay, no, Wild Heart, we already have one of those. So we're just going to run and get a new encounter. Because it's a dupes. Oh, saggy. Okay. This is good. This is where we're going to run into some weird stuff because Saggy might evolve into Penten, or it might just be its own thing. So we're just going to roll with it. If we if we end up with accidental dupes just because I don't know how they're going to handle that with this game, uh, so be it. All right, I'm just going to throw a Pokeball. See what happens. Uh, I accidentally hit speed up. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling, yeah, I have a feeling Saggy evolves into Penten, and if that does happen, I'm totally going to come back and get a different encounter, just because, uh, it's dupes. So that's another rule, if you get dupes, you can re-encounter. Uh, oh my god, alright, all right, great, good. You use tackle; it doesn't affect me. Stay in the ball. But yeah, Saggy could evolve into Penten. Penten could evolve into Saggy. We're gonna figure it out. Saggy was caught. Vampire Bat gained 24 experience. The rest of the team got EXP. Oh, so they yeah. This totally evolves into Penten. Let's see. Let's see what the Pokedex has to say about this. What? That's cool. Why the smallest close? Okay, so A to Z. Let's go. Let's just go numerical mode. Beaver Warrior. There's. Like I said, I think they added 300 different Pokemon to this. We got Wild Heart. Oh, yeah. Sa Saggy totally evolves into Penten. So, I wasted balls on essentially a duplicate en encounter. S 
so Oh alright, 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 alright. Blue eyes ultimate dragon. We have to get this. We have to get this. This is going to be the new main. I don't care. Astonish. Please don't kill it. Okay. Aha. Flinch. Mountain? What the heck is that? I'm sure there's going to be, like, multiple moves that I have no idea what the heck they are. Astonish. Wing attack. Alright, that tracks. Uh, can I get one more Astonish? Cool. Alright. Come on. Oh, I bet I bet this is gonna be the equivalent of a legendary. Okay, I was just like, why is the background black? Alright, premier if there's any any time for Premier Ball to work. Oh my god, alright, we got a blue eyes ultimate dragon. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> hundred and okay, yeah, that was definitely like legendary status. Holy crap. Alright, so Vampire Bat's level 10. And Venom Bow is level 4. Nice. Venom Bow is level 5. Extra nice. Learn Constrict. Level 6. That leveled up everybody. Alright, Wild Hearts level 6. Pen 10. Pen 10's level 5. That was awesome. This is this is great for our whole team. Saggy's level four, level five. Saggy doesn't matter because we're gonna go put him in the box. Ultimate Dragon of Destruction. No one can withstand a blast from this monster. Yeah, that's that's super good. That's super. Oh, I should I should have given that one a nickname. Just named it Kaiba. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're running back to the Pokemon Center so I can get rid of the dupes, Mon. So normally, normally if you catch a dupe monster, you should just let it be. But because this is, you know, extenuating circumstances, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little lenient on the on the the rules here. But I'm going to treat this as a dead monster. Boom! Can I rename this? Yes, I can. It is the death box. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we have a team of five. Going to heal up. And then we're going to go see what the heck this, this Shadow Realm stuff is all about up here. Because I'm pretty sure that's the old dude that's supposed to like teach you how to catch a Pokemon. Like, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that's his shtick. Let's see. Okay. Old man is not in here. Love searching for cards. Let's see, will you give me a card? There's a rare grass-type monster in Viridium Forest. I wonder what it could be. What is that? Okay, yeah, no, this, this is going to be super confusing the entire way through, but it's going to be fun. Alright, let's see what goes on here. So my goal is to have like 30 minute videos and uh, we're just going to cut it off at 30 minutes. This one's definitely going a bit longer because this is the first episode. So let's see. I'm going to definitely... We got to see what's up with, with Blue Eyes. Dragon flying, that's cool. Uh, mountain. Field turns into a mountain for five turns. Powering up dragon flying moves 100% accuracy for electric moves. Swing attack, growl, and burst stream. Oh my god, Blue Eyes is cracked. 
All right, yeah, you're going, you're going at the head of the bunch here. Actually, no. If 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 Blue Eyes dies right away, I'm going to be super, super sad. So we're gonna put we're gonna put the super leveled monster up there, and then we're just gonna grind him up. I guess I could have just rare candied him. Hey, Grunt, you, kid, you ugly kid. What? All right. Okay, so we got a Team Rocket Grunt. With the power of Exodia? What? Okay. Alright, Team Rocket Grunt sent out Wild Heart. Alright, go Vampire Bat. Just gonna astonish, smack ya. Use the Leer. Alright, yeah, I'm already loving this game. Like, I played for like played for like 20 minutes when I first downloaded it like I said and I didn't really I, I didn't get anywhere near this just because I just wanted to get like the feel of it see how it was and this this makes me so happy especially the freaking GX music at the end of the battles <laughs> beaver warrior what okay yeah I need I need to stop skipping text in this oh no this duel took longer than I should have I'm going to be late for the meeting at Mount Moon. I just wanted I want to know who like the main bad guy is now. Now that like Team Rocket isn't just like Team Rocket. But I think we're going to leave it off there. Save the game. And yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to uh, like, subscribe, ring that bell so you know when I post more episodes of this. Because like I said, this is going to be at least a once a week thing. Uh, next episode's probably going to be up within the next few days because I'm really loving playing this. And I'm definitely going to have to start recording this way more often than I thought I was going to. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Peace.